Canton police make a traffic stop and soon realize something is very wrong. Fox 5's Denise Dillon tells us before it was over, one person was arrested for human trafficking and kidnapping. That initial stop was because the driver was holding her cell phone while going down the road. But an observant officer soon realized there was something much worse going on. The intuition of the officer putting everything together based on his experience knew something wasn't right. A Canton police officer pulled over a van on this road because the driver was on her cell phone. Investigators say the driver was 16 and did not have a driver's license. She had a 13-year-old girl with her. Police say the officer asked the young driver a lot of questions, which did not add up. Then he spotted unusual items in the van. Found some THC type vape pens along with some other vape related products uh, as well as a large amount of lingerie. Police say the van they were driving had been stolen from a taxi company in North Carolina. The officer's suspicions grew. Backup was called in. Brought some detectives to the scene to help with the interviews and later determined that uh, the 16-year-old was bringing the 13-year-old um, to Oklahoma um, to see a gentleman. The 16-year-old was arrested and faces numerous charges, including kidnapping and human trafficking. It's very serious. It's um, anytime you're, you're taking someone against their will to go somewhere that they shouldn't be going, it's a very serious felony charge. Canton police say for the sake of the 13-year-old girl, they're thankful the officer's experience and intuition kicked in. But to think about all the bad things that can happen to a young 13-year-old being trafficked, um, he could have saved a life. Investigators still have a lot to determine, including how the 13 and 16-year-olds knew each other and if anyone else was involved. The 13-year-old's parents drove from Charlotte, North Carolina, here to Canton to pick her up. The 16-year-old is in juvenile detention. Investigators are expected to interview her tomorrow. In Canton, Denise Dillon, Box 5 News.